Often called vampire fish, sea lamprey are a dangerous threat to the Great Lakes ecosystem. But efforts to control the species were recently put in jeopardy by federal layoffs. Reporter Nicole Lee has the latest. Jen, due to the invasive nature of sea lamprey, just one can destroy up to 40 pounds of other fish. That's why many breathed a sigh of relief when those jobs were reinstated. So the sea lamprey was um, introduced into the Great Lakes decades ago um, and almost completely wiped out the Great Lakes fisheries. Scientists developed lamprecide, which is now applied to sea lamprey larvae each spring. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service team is contracted by the Great Lakes Commission for this critical work. They were scheduled to begin next month in tributaries that feed into Lake Erie. That effort was put in jeopardy when probationary employees were let go and a hiring freeze put into place during mass federal layoffs. It meant that 12 of them were, were fired on February 14th, and it meant that the seasonal staff that we bring on that are so absolutely critical to the program that we, we execute in the Great Lakes um, would not be hired. According to McClinchy, those employees were recently offered their jobs back, and the hiring freeze was lifted. But the question remains. Will the program be fully staffed moving forward? If efforts to control the invasive if sea lamprey came to an end or were even stunted by staff layoffs, experts say that the results could be devastating not only ecologically but economically as well. If we were to lose even just a third of a year's sea lamprey control program, that would leave two and a half million sea lamprey that would have otherwise been reduced by the program. McClinchy says that 2.5 million would eat 12 million pounds of fish at a cost of 270 $70 million to the Great Lakes economy. It would literally only take a year or two without this program being in place for the Great Lakes fisheries to be completely wiped out. McClinchy says lamprecide applications in the tributaries of Lake Erie are still expected to occur this spring. Sean. Nicole Lee reporting tonight.